Yeah, I know you've talked about it before, so I hope you don't mind me asking you questions about it, because it seems like you guys are all on good terms. You know, I know you and Chad were close, and like I said, he, I, I tried to get him to talk about it on the show, and he, it seems like the band is letting you tell the story. They haven't said anything, but you've done some interviews, like Rolling Stone, you did Mark Maron, I saw. So um, it seems like it was on good terms, but can you can you take me back to what it, it exactly happened? Like, because it seems like you were slightly surprised by it. The world was surprised by it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's funny because my nature isn't to talk publicly about anything really, but, um, you know, like I, I have this record that yeah, I think it would be a disservice to not seize this moment that seems like, you know, I don't know how big a snowball, but it's, you know, with the, with the Chili Peppers and now this Pearl Jam tour and the mm-hmm. opening slot there and just having the record in general, which, like I said earlier, I would normally not really speak about. It would just exist on the shelf and then probably get sent back to the distributor. Oh. But um, the uh, yeah the um, uh, yeah I was surprised that when I heard, but then in the in the big picture, not surprised just because you know a few times in the last couple of years, you know I'd hear about John reaching out to this person or this person or you know Flea, Flea and John having uh having gotten together. Yeah, I didn't know they'd been jamming and reconnecting musically but oh wow yeah but you know it's like uh yeah it's a it's a funny position to 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 be in because you know there's they have such a magical thing the four of them and with john and flea and john in particular and the way those two instruments communicate and they they created that with each other in the past you know when when i was uh going to summer camp in Chatsworth. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, the fact, so the minute I was told that, that John was coming back and, uh, you know, I just sort of sat there and I was just hit. hit and it was this, all, all of them telling you it was like a meeting? Like yeah, a, it was just a meeting, but it was just the four of us, but Flea's the one who said it. And then just, I was hit with this wave of, you know, it, it because it's such a big deal and it's such a shift in, in, your life you you can, you can reflect on it and you can even do it on a live radio but you um i i was just sort of grateful for all of these incredible experiences i've had with them for the last 10 years 